Hello and welcome to our quick start guide to text mining. My name is Guy Singh and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to attend this session. During this session we'll give you a brief introduction to linguamatics and why we're qualified to speak on this subject. We'll explain how text mining works even if you're very new to the area. We'll help you understand the difference between text mining and keyword search which is the approach that most commonly used search engines take. And at the end we'll provide you with some options to find out more information. Linguamatics is the world leader in deploying innovative natural language processing based text mining software for high value problem solving. Our products and services are used by top commercial, academic and government organisations including nine of the global top ten pharmaceutical companies. Now you know who we are, let's go into understanding some of the concepts around this subject. First let's start with something that most of us use every day, keyword search. Most search engines take this approach and it's important to understand what is going on when you use them. Typically you type in one or more keywords, in this case breast cancer, and the search engine then finds all the documents that have those keywords in them. The important thing to understand is that the search engine brings back links to the documents. It tells you that this list of documents here all contain the words breast and cancer. Then it's up to you to read through each document and decide whether they are of relevance. Keyword search is useful and most people use it every day. It's generally good enough for when you're speculatively browsing around for information. For example, I may want to look for places to go on holiday or find a specific website such as the website for Microsoft. It has significant limitations when the set of results from your search are very large. Most people don't have time to go through hundreds or thousands of results. Each result corresponds to a document and it becomes completely impractical to go through every single document. To reduce the result set down you may have to narrow the search to get rid of noisy or irrelevant hits. However, care has to be taken to avoid narrowing it so much that you may miss a result. To make sure you get good recall and find all the results you're interested in, you typically have to type in all the various ways the word may be expressed in the text. For example, cancer may be found as carcinoma, tumour or neoplasm. When something can be expressed in tens, hundreds or even thousands of different ways and you have to type them all in, it becomes unwieldy and impractical. So what is text mining? To explain it in simple terms, it's the ability to process unstructured text, typically in a very large set of documents such as thousands or even millions, interpret the meaning and automatically identify and extract out concepts as well as the relationships between those concepts to directly answer questions of interest. To understand how text mining systems like I2E interpret the meaning of text, let's take the example of these two pieces of text below. First of all, the I2E software recognises that these two pieces of text are sentences. This alone can be very valuable, especially if you're looking for associations or connections between things. If you did a standard keyword search looking anywhere in a document, the chances of the two things being associated can be quite small. It introduces a lot of noise in the results and you have to read through every document before knowing which ones contain anything relevant. If they co-occur in the same sentence together, there's a much greater likelihood that there is an actual association between the two things. Secondly, it identifies noun groups, entities or things I2E recognises that P42 MAPK is a thing, but also recognises that purified recombinant P42 MAPK is a meaningful group of words describing one thing. Similarly, it recognises verbs, groups, actions, which portray the relationship between the things. Phosphorylates is a verb group or relationship, but so is was found to phosphorylate. Finally, I2E can recognise morphological variants of the same word. 
that is, the irregular word variations that are not picked up by most standard search engines. The ability to recognize morphological variants gives you a higher recall than you would normally get. By applying the technique just described, text mining systems like I2E can automatically identify and extract concepts, the relationships between them, or the actions performed on them, and then present them as facts or assertions. So the user is presented with a set of facts or relationships to analyze instead of a set of documents. Let's take a look at the two approaches side by side, both as a summary and to see how they differ. If we take this example, which is the question, what genes affect breast cancer, running over many different document sources. The keyword based approach finds all the documents that match one or more words, depending on what has been typed in. These are presented as a list of hits, but to analyze them, you have to read through each document to determine the relevance. In the text mining approach, the question can be expressed in an open way. I2E uses built-in vocabularies to expand out all the different ways genes and diseases can be expressed in the literature. It automatically extracts out the concepts, in this case, genes and breast cancer, and finds the relationship between them using its natural language processing engine. The results are presented as a set of facts, relationships and assertions, with links to the original document for when additional context is required. This approach makes it much faster and much more efficient to analyse the results and get to the right answers. I hope I've given you a better understanding of text mining during this short presentation. It really is about helping you to make smarter, faster decisions and doing it with increased accuracy in a systematic and reproducible way at scale. All of this explains how we are helping many companies today to deliver breakthrough insights. If you would like to find out more about anything covered in this presentation or have questions you'd like to put to us, then please visit our website at www.linguamatics.com or email us at inquiries at Thanks for taking the time to listen to this presentation.